Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. Well, Scorpio, I will be on my vacation when this airs. I hope you're all doing well and vibing high. We are going to get a look-see at what it is you need to know about what is coming towards you from now until the end of the year. I am, <clears throat> I will be currently in Florida when this airs, so I am pre-recording a few readings for you all, and I did not want to forget about my babes, but I will be doing some readings, um, like every other day when I'm down there, um, in the morning before my family wakes up, because I am an early bird, which allows me time to do our morning readings, because I love to read. And um, so I'm just going to go with how I feel. With that being said, what is it that we need to know about what is coming towards us from now until the end of the year, Spirit, please? And we are really um, poking away here, Scorpio. We are starting to lose time. We are more than halfway through the year. We are a uh, season away from Scorpio season. So I love Virgo season. I love Libra season and I love Scorpio season. They are my three favorites. I don't know about you. A big success, career change, making a big purchase, high earning position. Okay, Scorpio. Some of you have a big position coming you may be losing faith in life. Your prayers are being answered from now until the end of the year. I claim spirit. Claim this reading, Scorpio. If you have been praying for something to come in, there is a need for grounding. Connect to Mother Nature. Um, your life may get really busy. There could be some lifestyle changes. There could be some changes that you're looking to make. And um, starting, you know, here over the next few months, Scorp, you may start slowly adding some really positive things to your day-to-day -day schedule. Or you may want to think about it. I am a big believer that when we're trying to change our life, just taking away something that isn't healthy and adding something that is um, little by little is the best way because let's use smoking for example if you're trying to quit smoking you can't try to quit smoking and quit doing something else all at once and then be frazzled and frantic and um, you know all over the place it's just too much. The likelihood that you will fall off and start smoking again because, um, you know, you're so out of sorts is high. So removing one thing at a time until you get that new positive thing down is the way to go. Some of you are being called to ground yourself. You may have the desire to escape a situation, Scorpio from now until the end of the year, really getting out into nature will be beneficial for you. There could be a big purchase, um, like a home, a vehicle, or something of the sort that you may be thinking about making. Patience, I accept everything happens in divine order. Guilt, I release any limiting beliefs that no longer serve in my soul's growth, period. You may want to screenshot this affirmation, write it down. It's a very good affirmation to say, it, I release any beliefs that no longer serve, assist in my soul's growth and freedom. I possess the power in the free will to create my own happiness. Beautiful. The divine letting you know right now that you have the freedom to create your own happiness, but it will require patience and for you to release any limiting beliefs that um, are holding you back from living your best life. The energy of fear has many gui guises to complicate your path to loving yourself. Guilt is the most devious because it is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It is self-imposed emotions that pretends to be instructive or enlightening. Guilt can help us grow when we realize that our actions have been hurtful to others and we need to make amends. 
After we do so, though, it is time to learn from the behavior and move on. The problem arises when we hold on to guilty feelings that serve no purpose other than promoting self-destructiveness and low self-esteem. Scorpio, it's time to release guilt. It's time to forgive yourself. It's time to forgive others and let it go. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow you to make the right choices for your own growth. Remember that you are never a victim of other people. You have complete control over your choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the path to happiness. You are responsible for creating your own reality. When your soul shifts to a place of honoring itself in its totality, free of judgment, only then will you find true freedom. Every soul is unique and follows its own path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march at the beat of your own drum. Amen. I did a video on The Alchemist last week about not caring about what other people think. What other people think of you and how you're living your life is none of your business. It is none of my fucking business what people think about me, Scorpio, and I swear to you that I have fully been able to do that. I don't care if they believe in what I'm doing. I don't care if they believe in my gift. I don't care at all. And being able to have that freedom to just be, to just live, will allow you to just flourish in so many ways. Letting go of what other people think of you, or staying patient and understanding that everything happens in divine order, and releasing limiting beliefs or shaming yourself is what you're being called to do from now until the end of the year. <clears throat> Tell me what this big success here. Some of you are about to receive some kind of promotion, especially if you work for an institution. You could actually get accepted into a very prestigious school, a job that you're going to love. It may require you to relocate. It may require you to step outside your comfort zone. Staying grounded, connecting to Mother Nature right now, praying saying your affirmations is important because you have a lot of things coming to an end and a lot of new things beginning and it can feel really scary you are embodying a strong nine of pentacle energy from now until the end of the year really stepping out on faith scorpio and and standing in your own power not allowing other people to knock you down, not feeling like you need other people to, to be um, in your corner because you've got you. It looks like there could be a lot of work that needs to be done in some area of your life. You may want to start adding one healthy thing and subtracting one unhealthy thing because you've got to release this pain now, friends. And the only way you're going to do this, the only way you're going to be able to get out of this three of swords, four of cups, feeling rejected and, and bad, is by starting a new healthy programs or, or rituals in your day. Like saying affirmations, journaling, doing things that you enjoy, doing things that make you feel good, that light you up inside. I love to make flower arrangements or wreaths or I like having creative projects. I always have a little creative project going on in the background because I love it. It's fun for me. It make it 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 allows me to not think about the world and the things that go on around me, but just focus on my day and, and what I'm doing in that moment. And by doing that, it raises your vibration and it will help you be able to move forward from this pain and heartache that the divine has been screaming at you to release. 
So we're going to get into what is coming from now until the end of the year in love. I got to say, I'm a little afraid. I don't want it, this to be bad. I want it to be a positive reading. Spirit, tell us what the good things are coming into Scorpio's life in love from now until the end of the year, please. Give us the goods. We want a positive, happy reading. There's so many good things happening in your lives here, Scorp. It looks to me like from now until the end of the year, you could have somebody coming in that's going to be totally devoted to you, but only after a period of rejection and abandonment. Like I said, four of cups here, three of swords. A lot of you feel abandoned and rejected currently. This is where you're at. But Scorpio, if you let this go and you move forward, honey, you're going to meet someone that's totally devoted to you that totally wants what you want. There is some dishonesty. There is some trickery, some tension, some arguments around. Some of you have a decision to make, Scorp. You can keep going down this path of just feeling like you're being buried in the pain and the thoughts and the sadness with all of this elusive behavior, trickery, and deception. Or you can move forward and meet someone that will be devoted to you and want what you want. But it's up to you now, friends. What's coming into Scorpio's life that's new? You know, a lot of you feel abandoned. You feel left out. You feel left out in the cold. But look at this, Scorp. Some kind of ecstasy. You have to grieve, though. You have to let go of this. You may decide to stay single until the end of the year. You know, maybe you need to find balance, harmony in your life. Those that feel abandoned, depressed, and lost. Those that are here right now, perhaps making... I, I like with my private clients, I often we set a time frame... In your mind and in your heart, you know, if things don't change by January 1st or I'm going to give myself till um, December 1st to grieve and to feel sad and to do some shadow work. And then after that, I'm, I'm going to start moving. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go of this person and I'm going to let go of, of this sadness and whatever they have done here. And I'm just going to love and enjoy life. You're a little withdrawn. There could be some, a lot of things that you do single. You know, you may do a lot of things on your own. Stag, you could be alone. But finding balance and harmony, you could meet a new friend, have a lot of fun and excitement. And somebody may be coming back. There could be a return from now until the end of the year. And it's going to be entirely up to y'all to decide what it is you want to do. Tell me why Scorpio seems to be feeling left out and, and abandoned. It looks like someone's walked out of your life. You want a new beginning and this person hasn't came back and it's been hurtful. Often when we're in a on and off relationship and you expect this person to come back and then they don't. Because what happens when, with on and off relationships is at some point it doesn't go the way you think it's going to. You're so used to them coming back that you just expect it. And then when they don't, you start to feel rejected. Some of you, that, that's what's happening. You, fo you thought they would come back and they didn't. And now you're feeling really rejected. With that being said, Scorpio, this person still could come back in. They've been holding their self back. You could be involved with a fixed sign or a Leo. There is healing. Some of you, this person is not coming back until Aquarius season, so mid-January. And so you may spend the rest of the year healing and processing and single it doesn't have to be bad you don't have to be sad you don't have to stay in this place you can reflect and you can grieve 
and be happy at the same time. From now until the end of the year, there will be things and we keep getting confirmation that come into your life that make you happy and excited, that light you up. Maybe someone taking you out on a date, going out with friends, doing more. Just because you're alone doesn't mean you have to be lonely, Scorpio, and you have to remind yourself of that. There is sorrow, there is sadness, there has been dishonesty and lies and, and rejection of some sort. And it's really triggered all sorts of things inside of you. With that being said, there is something new. Tell me what this is. I should have shut my ringer off. I'm sorry, guys. That's what I have clients that text me all through the day and it gets a little overwhelming with the dings why <clears throat> there's somebody that felt a temptation there was a lot of desire here um, between the two of you but they uh, felt a temptation the divine's letting you know that it is safe for you to love there is someone coming into your life that could compliment you. You're being asked to open up your creativity, open up your sacral. If you haven't done anything creative lately, get some coloring books, some crayons. Do something to really express yourself. Draw, color, paint the way you're feeling. Paint the way you feel inside. Get it out on the page. Score. Journal, write, write poetry. Start opening up your sacral. A lot of you haven't felt desire and, and sexual chemistry with anyone in a long time. And you may have a blockage. Um, you may have a blockage in your sacral. This person, what do they want? The person that wants to apologize. From now until the end of the year, there is some kind of apology, some return. They are replaying past events in their mind. They have a lot of nostalgia. They ghosted you. They haven't been ready to communicate. They've been running and, and really cold. It's been hard for you. They are holding on to the past. They're holding on um, to you, Scorpio, but they haven't been ready to talk. They haven't been ready to apologize. They haven't wanted to look. It's been easier to just avoid. And now that they're having all of these memories come in it's starting to push them to um come in and tell you that i want you i still want you i'm sorry i ghosted you i'm sorry i rejected you just know if somebody will ghost you once they will ghost you twice my friends i couldn't let you get that close to me i'm afraid to contact you that's the truth my guides are confirming what I'm saying. This person's afraid to contact you. They haven't wanted to look. They haven't wanted to own up to the mess that they made in your life. They know they made a mess. They know they let you down. They just haven't been ready. By the time they are, I hope most of you have totally said, you know what, with love and light. Bye. Because that's what you should be doing. This person doesn't deserve your love and your big heart, Scorpio. They don't. What were they lying about? I feel like for some of you, this person didn't straight lie to you. They omitted some things. They didn't tell you something. This person's just very elusive that way. They could have lied to you and told you that a relationship was over, that it really wasn't. For some of you, this person lied to you and told you that um, they were moving on from a third party only to find out that's not what they did. They could have told you that they weren't going to leave, that they wanted to work out your relationship, and then you found out they went back to an ex. Some of you, they were lying about a person they shared children with. This could be an Aries, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Cancer. They're afraid. They know that you're like, say it, say it, 
don't get any closer. Just say it. You're about to uh, slice their head off. That's what I'm getting from the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has her hand out because, sure, come on in, friend. I'll, we'll talk. Yeah, I'll hear you out. What, what do you've got to say? But say one wrong word. Just try it. Say it. And she is going to let a motherfucker know. So this person knows that if they come in, they better come in correct. Because if they come in on some dumb shit, you are going to let them know. You're going to let them know. Nah, that's not what's going on here. Not anymore. Not after this. There is some good times to come. Peace, harmony. You may meet someone that you decide you just want to have a friends with benefits with or a more casual connection with because you're still grieving this past person. You may be a little fearful on getting close to anyone or could, you know, committing to anyone from now until the end of the year. But there is... Um, what is this excitement and good times? There's excitement and good times to come for those ready to walk away from this and let it behind you. For those ready to um, accept that not everybody and everything and is here to stay. Most people and things come into our life for a reason and for a season. And so... You know, honoring the cycle you're in here, letting go and walking free is actually going to open the door for new money opportunities, a brand new lover. You could meet a water sign, someone that's very romantic, that's very loving, that's very kind, somebody that is ready to give you what you deserve and what you desire. The divine giving you a big divine gift here. Um, for walking away and letting this behind and releasing this sorrow. <clears throat> Some of you are going to block this person. You're going to actually block them online. You're going to block them completely out of your life. And you are going to move on down the damn road. And those that are ready to do this, you have excitement, new friendships, balance, peace, harmony, some kind of really fun um, parties and events. Maybe even a collaboration with somebody and you could make a lot of money. A um, water sign may ask you out and you could go away with them here more towards the end of the year. Those that just meant somebody, there is a lot of fun, a lot of freedom, a lot of friendship as well as making love um, with this person. If you have just met them over the last few weeks, Scorpio, just know that this person is safe for you to open your heart to. This person is safe for you to open up again to. But first you must release this past person and this sorrow and sadness. From now until the end of the year, there's a lot of change coming, Scorp. And um, you just have to be willing to take the cues from the divine. Nothing changes until something changes. And that change has got to be us, my friends. Angel number 1515. Big break. I claim spirit. Progress. Forward movement and goals. An opportunity to help, extra cash, or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when you're performing your task. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. Spirit's letting you know from now until the end of the year, every effort that you put in to your life, to a creative project, a friend, a lover, your work, your career, you will be rewarded for big time. What you're putting out, you're getting back, Scorpio. Be on the lookout for angel number 1515. A lot of forward movement. You may decide to go back to school. All of those things, very good. Your big break is coming. I hope everyone has the most beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.